Next message. care what you think about me I had come from an environment with very little cheerleading going on and so I created a sort of survival instinct right. where I would cut people out you know and, and minimize opinions and the way that I would do that is I had to believe that my opinion was greater than everybody else's opinion around me
going to be the thousands of dollars. about it is like although I'm still cordial very cordial will always remain cordial the one thing that I am happy about the fact is I take it for what it is but at the end of the day it's back to bitch I don't fuck with you type of shit and I feel like she's slowly but understanding like we will never be close and never say never yes and 100 percent. do i expect to probably need her for something yes but honestly the way that i'm wired the way that obviously i guess god <laughs> is testing me is like no matter what at the end of the day no matter what even though i know i have backup for whatever I may need help with, be it hair or whatever, because like I even catch myself even watching her and not even on no creepy shit, just on some sometimes just instinctively because other people sit there that, you know, I'm much closer with instinctively. I guess like i just had that watch for iowa but at the end of the day like if a mass shooter come in my nigga get that bitch first i'm getting the fuck about that bitch like 
I have my exit strategy. Like, I will be... <laughs> it will be... <laughs> when I tell you I'm going to be gone, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be seeing that shit a mile a fucking minute. I tell you fucking that. And if I'm smart and if I can play it smart, bitch... No, I wouldn't purposely get nobody killed on purpose. I would say that. But at the end of the day, like, nah. Because you've proven to me that if roles were reversed, you would be pushing me. Literally. Like, I told this one girl this one time. I was like, I feel like if someone came in here shooting, you would just pick me up and throw me at them. And, like... That's genuinely how I felt. So, I feel the same way about her. She can't pick me up and throw me up. I guarantee you that. But 100%, if she has the opportunity to put me in the line of fire, absolutely. And that is what I stay clear of at all times. Like, I had to tell somebody, I was like, Chelsea, hey, working with me. Because... <laughs> I'ma make that bitch fucking work. Like, if I'm to a certain point, oh bitch, she gonna make sure she get past that point. And I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, I need her to understand, like, I want to get as far away from you as possible. And that's really all it is. It's like, if I don't want to be around your energy, I will fucking speed up the pace and become Speedy Gonzalez. And guess what? I'm still gonna rock that shit regardless. So, <laughs> but yes, like, a hundred percent like the one thing about it is i keep her on her motherfucking toes like she not about to be lollygagging with me like she do with everybody else that in the sales lets me know one thing and number two um the last time i had miss robin given bitch that bitch came over there and ran next and made sure she sat next to me like bitch wasn't well, nobody about to get that spot nobody and the thing about it is like i'm sorry but you were a big no for her and even if you were a yes a hundred percent i have a confirmation from yesterday's client that she be tearing y'all's motherfucking hair out like when I tell you so much breakage from what she is doing to my black girls, it's so much breakage. And I knew it. I knew. I knew because this one black girl ended up cutting her hair. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, yes, I don't know if it's on purpose or what. But, yes, she be breaking these black girls' hair. And I don't know if I'm going to snitch or not because I'm thinking I need to tell the manager but then I don't know if it's gonna be taken wrong. I don't know, but I just thought about that that I was talking. So that's really all this is right now. And yes, it's making it in the vlog because I'm not editing shit out. Like I edit what I know that was in the frame as I'm, you know, finishing the clip. Like I don't even let the parts that I don't want in to even make it to the thingy and if they do a lot of times like i have it mentally in my brain like um jayla says like when i'm like recording shit like in my head i already have it mapped out with how i'm already recording shit so half the, the edits that i'm doing i'm doing my edits live in deray in this moment as i'm talking to you like this is me editing like if i a hundred percent i'm a person if i started off a clip and i'm just already discombobulated or if i started something and i was like at the end i didn't like something a hundred percent i will re-record that clip and guess what it's gonna come back out 10 times better because that's all i need is that one practice shot right there and i already kind of know and i can add a little better and make it actually shorter so <laughs> yes yeah, like live indirect like they do in tv yes that's me i'm not playing so yeah that's why i just don't care i just don't care and if something makes it on accident it just makes it on accident but hey it is what it is it's lessons learned like so far i've only caught one mistake and hopefully 
everything else is peaches and cream. So, yeah. I Most definitely, I don't stay confident when I'm editing. So, like, yes. That is for sure. When I know that for the most part, as long as I look okay and everything else after that, it is what it is type of shit for me. Because it's me. You gonna hate it or love it. That's about it, homie. Baby, the one thing about this iPhone, as long as I have my chussy dandy light right here, bitch, I can see myself. Only thing that's so hard about this is, is I gotta remember to look right here so it don't look like I'm all cockeyed and shit looking right here when I should be looking here. But this is literally, this is how I mistakenly have been finding some dope ass angles. So I'm not even mad at this iPhone camera at all. <laughs> Now, let me stop. I gotta go walk this dog before he like, bitch, come on now. So, yeah. I don't know if he um, rethought his life or what, but he ate, he went back to the room, I assume, to the cage. Then he come running back, like, you know, looked at his food, like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this shit. Like, he rethought his life. So, this is a growth because I never wanted him to be in the cage all day on an empty stomach. And this just proves he's getting it. Like, he's really getting, like, I'm not trying to make you suffer. I'm trying to set you up to be living the life of the rich and the fabulous and the luxuriousness that these other dogs that you sniffing behind do not have. They don't have this shit that you get. Trust me. They don't. Some of them are homeless. Yeah. Some of them dogs are homeless dogs. You don't want what they got. So he was apparently rushing to go chase the sun. So... We got a little while to be in the sun, so I'm gonna let him have his sun since this is honestly where he probably went to the first time. He better stay on my pillows, and then he'll be in the cage. And I already have his vlog set up, and I cleaned, and he made the mess right after I cleaned. But the flow is much better than it was last night because it was a murdered mess just because. It was a massacre, like a true life massacre. He got decapitated. <laughs> That's what happened. His eyes and all of that shit, and he got decapitated. So that's what happened last night. Froggy lost his head. He lost his eyes. <coughs> and it was a real mess. On a different note, last night on the stove, I slow cooked these black beans. Ooh, they look good on camera. Okay, see, I'd be worried if this be looking good or not, but that look really, really good. And it should be spicy. If you a cook, you should see all that spiciness right up in there, huh? So, yeah. So I'm about to quickly make me some nachos. I'll probably eat these on the way to work. Since I'm actually hungry now. So I'm going to finish this because it's not done. Here go the nachos. Nothing fancy. Just black beans, avocado, and cheese. Chips. Simple but fulfilling. So, And then these chips are actually healthy-ish. I love these chips from all these. These are so fucking good. Like, you can eat them with anything or buy themselves as a snack. So freaking good. Especially if you want salt because it does have the um, sea salt on it. It's so good. So, yeah. a big wig oh it's so humongous so she most definitely needs to be face framed i've already pretty much have the gist of how i'm gonna cut everything so yeah we're looking like a shaggy dog right now but we're gonna cut our bangs and then face frame this 
and yeah and then if i feel like it still looks crazy after i do that i'll go through and i'll cut up the the actual afro and i'll just do layers literally i'll just bring it up and snip snip the very tip i'm not even gonna cut a lot because i want the afro to be big like i this yes this is what we want right here this big old fromness but right here is where we gotta contour because i already see it right here so yeah contort contort probably add a little layers to frame it yeah I think that's what I'm going to do. Literally, I am going to cut my bangs. And once I cut my bangs, whenever that is, I'll just go through and make layers. Okay. You saw what you said? I said I'm getting sick of all this greasiness in these seats. Okay, I thought that's what you said. Nigga boo, ain't nobody scared of you. But anyways, um, I think he's finally connecting the vlog and the TV to the same concept because he sat down and like he's looking that way type of shit. But then, I don't know, I think he finally may be catching on to the TV, which I want to chill and watch TV with him. <clears throat> So, I do want him to be interested in the TV because that's a form of entertainment. Oh, hello. Robin. Watching the TV. Okay. Watching the TV. Okay. Okay. He is about to dig himself in a deeper hole than he's already in. And I can't tell if you can tell if he got a black eye, but that nigga done been beat up twice already. And he still don't know when to stop. But no, honestly, this nigga right here, he over here plotting on his boss and not even understanding that that's his boss. Like, this um, black man from London, um... They think he's just another lawyer, but in truthfulness and honesty, the company that they working for is his business. So now, he trying to apply and scheme on him because he don't like him, but he don't even realize that's his boss. Like, you can't get rid of him. So, I brought up the bigger carrots and I chose to chop it up like this and boil it for him and... The whole time he was coming to the kitchen, I thought he was just being greedy, but he really likes this. And literally, all I did was boil this in water. Literally, softened it up and boiled it in water. Wow, I was not expecting these over these carrots. I'm gonna have to rethink carrots now because if he's liking this like a treat, and it didn't dawn on me because of how he's acting, but I made a treat like a doggy cookie before with carrots in it. So. Yeah, I might have to figure out him a carrot treat, basically. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Just, oh, cheapest treat. He loved that for him. So I'm going to give him one because he really do like it. I did this whole show um, on Sisters. She the one that disappointed me the most. Like, you base like, I get it your relationship with the person was break up make up break up make up but eventually you gotta break up like there's no back and forth your whole fucking life like who really wants to do that but she really been disappointing me as a character because like i thought she was smarter than this and i guess that's the whole tale of the whole show is the people you think are the strongest are actually the weakest and you know I 100% yes I hold myself to a standard of being strong but 100% I have no problem admitting my weaknesses but she most definitely has disappointed me but she's also been an eye opener for me and myself as a whole because it's like have I ever felt the way that she's felt before 
yes but no at the same time like because at the end of the day no man that i've ever slept with i'm entitled to so yeah that's where she's lost me at but i get it it's like why all of a sudden now you want to get it together type of shit but sometimes it just takes someone different that's more relatable to them to deliver the message that you can't deliver because 100 percent she can't deliver no message like i don't even understand why she's so angry but whatever that's a whole nother thing i'm looking for yeah it's that bird in the vip line with the v-time and the east line it's a driving east side and she in a p-mine i don't want her